It's been a difficult uh, day of working to begin removing the giant crane that collapsed in Lauder Hill yesterday. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt, but the collapse has led to several other issues in the neighborhood. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at the scene in Lauder Hill with an update for us. Amber? And one of those issues the neighborhood is facing this afternoon is a diesel leak that is coming from that crane. The Lauder Hill Fire Department says before they do anything else, they have to make sure that's cleaned up. After the rain subsided Thursday morning, crews got back at it, using all their efforts to remove this massive crane that crashed onto two homes yesterday. And part of the boom is still sitting in the, the roof of the house that you've all seen from the aerial pictures. So that is still, uh, nothing's changed on that. The scene at Northwest 11th Street and 43rd Avenue in need of a major cleanup. The Lauder Hill Fire Department says the crane was being used by Florida Power in Light, replacing power poles when it came down. The company that owns the crane, Sims Crane and Equipment, haven't issued a statement, but someone with the company tells CBS4 the ground beneath it collapsed. Assistant Chief with Lauder Hill Fire Department, Jay Levy, giving updates on the progress. The city of Lauder Hill has put out a precautionary boil water notice asking people to boil their water if they have. Uh, the utility crews are on scene right now. They have a plan of how to restore water to most of the area, and they're currently working on that process to get water back up. But Glenise Charles is one person who doesn't have to boil water. She was in the home that suffered the most damage. She's now staying at a hotel that the crane company is paying for. I don't know, you know, how my things are, how much I, I'm going to lose, so just worried about that. She says her nephew suffered minor injuries when the collapse happened, but he's going to be okay. Based on the pictures that I've seen, I see that he's really lucky because, you know, it could have been worse. Uh, back out here live, Glenise tells me she's eager, could, eager to get back into the home and see what items she can salvage. We're putting live in Lauder Hill, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News.